Christian web-based series, The Chosen, breaks record for ticket sales in its new production. Couple called out by Nigerians in alleged 22 billionaire scam granted citizenship in the Antigua and Barbuda. And NIN registration deadline extended as NIMC faces network and funding challenges. This is the Tech City News Update. I am Bill Rose from Tech City. Details after this. Christian web and app-based series The Chosen has announced a special Christmas-themed feature film titled Christmas with The Chosen, The Messengers. The film, which will be in theaters from December 1st to 2nd, spotlighting the birth of Christ as seen through the perspectives of Joseph and Mary, has already broken its distributor's record for ticket sales in the first 12 hours, with $1.5 million already made. Christmas with the Chosen, The Messengers will be the Christmas event of 2021, and we are elated to bring it to the big screen so it may be seen by audiences nationwide, says Ray Knott, CEO of Fathom Events, the distributor. The movie features a never-before-seen episode of The Chosen, along with music from Phil Wickham, Maverick City Music for King and Country, Brandon Lake, and more. Available to watch on iOS and Android app stores, The Chosen is the first more multi-season series about Jesus and his disciples. Its producer, Leaves and Fishes Productions, has made two seasons and translated it into 50 languages. When we decided to do a special Christmas episode, we knew it would be the ideal moment to get this on the big screen, Dallas Jenkins, the director, said, adding, it's the first chance chosen fans have had to gather all over the country, so we intend to make it worth it. And with all the incredible musicians assembled, this is a perfect event for inviting friends. In other news, Bamiche and Elizabeth Ajetsumobi, a couple who are reportedly on the run over a multi billionaire investment scam, have been confirmed as citizens of Antigua by the Citizenship Investment Unit, CIU of the Antigua and Barbuda. The couple were reportedly granted citizenship in April 2021 after they applied under the Citizenship by Investment Program. They were granted the citizenship of the island nation in April after intense internal examination, the CIU said in a statement, Bamishi and Elizabeth Ajitumobi owned a micro-lending company called Imagine Global Solutions and earlier last week, we reported that they were called out by Nigerians on Twitter for absconding with investors' monies worth 22 billion naira. In a recent development, however, the Antigua and Barbuda CRU clarified that before the couple were handed citizenship, an investigation was carried out under the leading global due diligence firm and nothing implicating was found. No Interpol red notice had been issued for either Mr. Bamishi Ajitsumobi or Elizabeth Ajitsumobi. As such, at the issuance of citizenship, there was no adverse media criminal or civil litigation, neither were there any regulatory concerns associated with the applicants and their businesses, the CRU said, adding that it would properly investigate their alleged crimes and is awaiting the issuance of an official statement by the authorities in Nigeria. If found guilty, their citizenship may be terminated, the unit said. And before we go, the federal government of Nigeria has extended the October 31st deadline for the National Identification Number, NIN, and SIM data verification to the end of 2021, while calling on Nigerians to complete the process. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Professor Isa Pantami, said the decision to extend the deadline was as a result of appeals by the mobile network operators and other industry stakeholders soliciting for a further extension to ensure better compliance with government's directive and to avoid widening the digital divide. Some investigations, however, reveal that the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, is itself currently facing a network delay, which has slowed down the generation of national identity numbers. The punch reports, adding that a top source at NIMC said, you can still register for NIN as a new customer, but you cannot generate NIN as quickly as you could in the past because of the rush of registration and the pressure on our system. He adds, if you are changing your name or editing your data like age, then you have to pay. But the process of updating your data or even registering now takes as much as a week. In fact, my wife has not been able to obtain her passport for the last three weeks because the data has not been dropped for immigrations to pick. All these are happening because of the rush on the system. It is overwhelming, he said, and some extra trades have been coming to look at it, but the problem is funding. 
And that's all we have time for today on the Tech City News Update. If you found this informative and insightful, please consider giving this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech news and gadget reviews. I am Bella Rose from Tech City. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.